Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What's up you guys, Shadow back at it again with a new reaction and this time we have Suicide Squad official final trailer. Uh, this should be interesting, I'm looking forward to this movie and it's... I think it has premiere now, like this month, uh, here in Sweden at least, I don't, I don't remember what date exactly but I'm gonna go and see it anyway. I am very interested in seeing what it is going to be about, hopefully they don't give us too much of, uh, of the movie in this trailer, but I don't think they will because it's only one minute. So yeah. Anyway, I was just browsing around and I came across this. So why not? Let's do this. Bam. I want to build a team of some bad people who can do some good. What are you really up to? Amanda. Flag, it's a need to know. All you need to know is you work for me. Amanda Waller, yeah. You need real soldiers, not What's a brick? Guys. Everyone has a weakness. And a weakness can be leveraged. That is just a mean lady. Yeah. You got a job to do. Light it up! Getting people to act against their own self-interest is what I do for a living. I'll accept the consequences. I am your consequence. We warned me about you. I didn't believe the stories. Nobody does. Suicide Squad. Rated PG-13. Experience it in IMAX 3D. Whew. Thoughts? Yeah, guys. Man, this looks pretty cool. Uh, I, I didn't think that they spoiled too much with this trailer, which is good. Uh, a lot of action, that's for sure. Um, we saw a little bit more of Rick Flagg this time, played by Joel Kinnaman and Amanda Waller, uh, played by, uh, I don't remember her name now at the moment, but uh, the lady who is like orchestrating the whole thing, basically. Um, this looks like an epic movie, like uh, a lot of shit is going down. A lot of action, a lot of shooting and all that stuff. It's, I think it's going to be action-packed and really, really interesting. Uh, I'm hoping for that anyway. I, uh, I was checking it out and it says the 5th of, uh, 5th of uh, August. So we should be getting it like two or three days before that here in Sweden. We normally get the movies before you guys in the US do. Same with Star Wars and a bunch of others. I don't know why that is, but we get them pretty early on here. So anyway... Um, Will I see the movie? Yes, I will. I will. Of course I will. Will I do like some type of uh, um, movie review? Yeah, I'm, most definitely I, I will. I am, I am interested in seeing um, what this is about. And uh, yeah, man, it, it looks awesome. It, it does. Um, all the actors, I don't know. I, I mean, I hope... I mean, uh, uh, I've thought about this and I've had this concern before. Um, it's like, you know when... If you've seen Captain America Civil War by now, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, in that movie, they had a lot of characters with a lot of personalities. Uh, personality and with a lot of uh, uh, input in, to the movie itself. Uh, with bigger parts, less big parts, but still, nonetheless, they were recognizable because they've had a long time. Uh, introducing these characters such as Iron Man, Captain America, Bucky, fucking, you know, Black Widow and uh, all the, those other characters. Uh, here on the other hand, we really don't have any... Uh, anything on these characters. More than what we bring to the table ourselves, being fans of uh, DC in this case. I mean, I... Many of you and I know of Harley Quinn. I know of uh, uh, Rick Waller. I know of uh, Cro I mean, I know of a bunch of these characters from before. But that's my that's my personal um, knowledge of these characters. I know of Katana. I know the deal with her husband, with the the so I know, you know. Um, 
I'm not sure that everybody else do. And that is going to be a problem because I, I, I'm thinking that I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this movie, but it's, but I think that I will enjoy this movie because of my previous knowledge to a certain extent. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be very difficult for them to build layers around characters within, I mean, how long is this movie going to be? Like two hours, right? Something like that. It's hard. You have Will Smith, you have uh, Margot Robbie, you have Joel Kinnaman, you have uh, what the fuck's this other Joker, Jared Leto. I think Ben Affleck is going to be in this movie as well. I mean, it's hard to build great story surrounding great characters without any layers to them, you know what I mean? So I am a bit, a tiny bit concerned about that and what the hell? God damn it. Uh. One eternity later. Yeah, guys. Uh, where were we? Damn it, I lost my chain of thought. I, yeah, I was talking about characters. Uh, the build-up. We have two hours, or I don't know how long this movie is going to be, but I, I'm guessing around two hours. And in those hours, we have to get in uh, all these characters. Uh, some are bigger than others, obviously. But nevertheless, they are very important to the story, and uh, I'm afraid that maybe, I don't know, we're going to get... I, I just don't want this movie to be another fucking Batman v Superman, to be honest. Yes, I am one of those people. One of those people who saw the movie a few times and came to the conclusion that it it wasn't the best of movies. It was very uh, visually uh, appealing to me. The movie was beautiful. It's really cool, but the story and the character development and build up wasn't really that good, to be honest. Uh, I did a review on that. If you want to check that out, you can do it. you can do so. But regarding this movie, I'm afraid. I'm just afraid that we might end up there as well, and that would fucking suck to be honest. Uh, I don't know what plans they have for these characters in future movies. Um, there are some big actors here. I mean, Will Smith, as I said, Joel Kinnaman, uh, Margot Robbie, she's really popular at the moment. So I think it'd be hard to tie them down. And uh, this kid, well, kid uh, this guy playing Joker, what the fuck's his name? Jared Leto. Uh, He's a busy guy, he plays with his band as well. So when he's not touring with his band or recording, he's doing this. I don't, you know, it's uh, also a little, uh, another little concern of mine that I have is, it's not, it's not a concern, it's like, how would this Joker be compared to the other ones? Because that, that's what you're going to do. I'm not gonna compare um, the new uh, cast or, or characters to anyone because they haven't been seen in, in a movie before, but we've seen the Joker a number of times. Uh, and and there have always been comparisons. How was he uh, compared to the the previous Joker and so on and so forth? Uh, figure we're gonna do the same with this guy here. I'm I'm willing to give him a chance because he's a cool actor and the Joker looks very different from one from from before, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, a lot of things with this movie that are... Uh, I'm a bit concerned, basically. That's what I want to tell you guys. I'm a bit concerned because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know uh, um, how they're going to do this. I hope for the best, though. As I did with Batman v Superman, I will with this movie as well, that we get some uh, a good story, first and foremost. Uh, and that it makes sense at the end, you know? So yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for for uh, subscribing and liking and all that good stuff that you do. Leave your comments down below, let me know what you think about this. And uh, if you're going to see the movie, what your expectations are. I've told you mine, so... You, have, you will have a movie review up once I go and see this one. So yeah, that's that. Alright guys, take care and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.